Hey everybody, uh, user here, some more maximum football gameplay here in the run game. Now today's video is sponsored by Undisclosed Energy Drink, the supplement that I choose to fuel my channel. It's undisclosed because they don't pay me. Anyway, the run game is finally being shown off here and this is the second video since the NCAA National Championship not shown by EA Sports from a gameplay perspective. So. I mean, that just tells me a lot as far as what I need to know from the upcoming games. I'm just going to play this clip at speed here for you and give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at. So, here we go. Alright, so there is quite a bit to unpack here. Now, I know you guys are probably getting sick of me talking over a lot of these gameplay clips, but there's a lot of stuff right off the bat that um, I find really interesting and I don't see a lot of other people pointing out from what this game is going to be doing. So right away, before this play even starts, after the ball is snapped, you can see up here we're getting a glimpse of some of the um, controls as far as post snap. So again, it's showing you the normal pass, there will be bullet passes, you tap to, to lob pass. This looks very similar to what the OG Maddens give you. Enough tools to be precise, accurate, and you know move the ball through the defense without being too overly complicated. There is a right trigger scramble button. And of course you have your Y button, which I'm assuming is triangle on the PlayStation to catch the ball. Right away, um, I'm going to point this out. Modus or whoever showing this gameplay like playing the games is doing so to show off certain features offensively there will be times where they probably post clips for the defense but right here you can see it's a three-man line um i don't know if this is a dime package where you would have a slew of dbs on the field i don't understand this three safety look um I mean, whatever, but basically what they're trying to show off here is the run game against, you know, a basic front. So you're going to have a three-man front here. There are two DBs out here interacting with receivers from a four-wide perspective. Right away, you're seeing the line logic vastly improve. So in these situations where they're outnumbering the defensive line, I mean, maybe this is just depending on what kind of run scheme you're in. Um... The Pittsburgh Steelers run something very similar to this, where essentially they will double team at the point of attack and then get to the second level here. So what you're getting is two double team blocks to establish line of scrimmage. And as you can see here, it creates a lot like the line of scrimmage is being pushed upfield. This back could have chose to cut here into both holes. You know, maybe this is just the play was designed to swing wide here. He gets outside. Um, a couple of pretty cool things are happening. Get some good downfield blocking here. The double teams are still enacted. This guy is disengaging. One thing I really like is this defender actually isn't in a position to run to the play. He has to basically break down and reposition himself by cutting up field. You get a missed tackle there. That's probably either user controlled. This clip is showing off the online, I guess. The quarterback just goes full. Uh, Tim Tebow here or Baker Mayfield. He's running out in front of the play. Gets a block. You get a couple of nice little cut animation jukes here upfield before you see the back take a, a, a pretty vicious hit. I'm not going to lie. From number 44, a couple players are jumping over the bodies. That's a little excessive there at the end. I will not disagree with you. 63 kind of just turns around and just jumps like it's a Hail Mary. But overall... Um, this looks like some physical football is being played here. I love the point of attack blocking. The defense does a pretty good job of rallying around the ball carrier. They're all taking pretty good angles to set up, you know, tackles to secure the play. Another pretty interesting part to this play that you'll see barely off screen here is I think we finally are getting a glimpse at some press, um, coverage. Now, defensively, I'm all about that. My big thing in football is... Defensively, I like physical press man-to-man -man corners, and Maximum has not shown this yet. 
Now, they could just be engaging because this is also a run play. I mean, I don't know, but their alignment on the field tells me there was some sort of press call here defensively, putting these guys right at the line of scrimmage. You can see them battling it out. It almost does look like the, the receivers are running outside releases to beat the press jam, but where they're at on the line of scrimmage tells me the, the, these DBs were getting up there and they were trying to be very physical with the receivers. So here you're getting very something very similar. This guy looks like he actually wins off the line of scrimmage and whiffs that jam. So the jam animation does not look like it's static. It's not just going to be an automatic win for the defense. So this is something you can't cheese. I'm assuming um, you have to have some good press corners to be able to do a lot of this stuff from a gameplay perspective. So overall, um, a short, sweet clip. There's not a whole lot to talk about and i'm not going to overanalyze this but again you're seeing a lot of good gameplay represented here and the fact that they back this up now we're seeing some press coverage we're seeing some um multi or some double team blocks at the point of attack now it looks like a lot of these throw animations have been ironed out and now the run game is starting to be shown here um, from a gameplay perspective Get some jukes, some very cool stuff there, and some physicality at the point of attack. So, um, curious to hear, you know, you guys' thoughts. If anybody has any criticisms, just definitely let me know. I'm not saying this is perfect gameplay by any means, but what I am saying is, from what I've been seeing from Madden, this game may not be on the same level as a polished Madden experience. But what what the fuck even is a polished Madden experience at this point? Okay, so. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing. I'll be back then.